Hi there, it's Roy Breton here from A Countryman's View. Hope you're doing well. The title on my thumbnail reads today, Is this really the truth? So often we hear things and we don't know if they're true. And just the other day or recently, um, I was looking at this post and I won't say what it says there, but it says BBC uh, apologising again. And uh, it then goes on, on to say lie, uh, number one, lie. Number two, get caught. Number three, apologize. Four, go back to step one, which is a lie. And it says BBC apologizes for reporting unproven claims about Israel carrying out summary executions on Gaza civilian civilians. The outlet said it had not made sufficient effort to seek corroborating evidence to justify reporting Hamas claim. And uh, I'm seeing this a lot and uh, I, I do look at the BBC website, but I don't, um, it's extremely rare for me to read a full article because I, I just don't trust them. They're just not trustworthy. And here I was looking on the BBC, BBC website, it says corrections and clarifications. Um, now, please don't get me wrong, we all make mistakes and we can think something. I'm sure I'm going to make a video on something that's may not be right and uh, it won't be a deliberate mistake but the, these things happen but the BBC seems to make them rather a lot it, it appears and uh, I just put into BBC apologizing for misinformation to Google and uh, BBC it goes on to say BBC forced to apologize for fake news about Israel um, they apologize for IDF accusations um, and um, once again, Israel, the BBC apologizes after falsely claiming that our forces and so forth. Um, so it's, it's good to know the truth. And I'm thankful for this book here, um, the Bible, that gives us the truth, despite everything that's going on in the world. And there's a lot going on at the moment. We do have the truth, which is a wonderful thing. And just the other day on the BBC website, as I say, I don't read it. Um, I came across this post, TV Joshua, mega church leader raped and tortured, worship as BBC finds. And as soon as I saw that, I thought that it doesn't sound right because I, I know, um, I don't know anything really about this man, but I know a man who is under his ministry here um, called Harry. Um, and um, I've sat with him, uh, my wife, myself several times in, in his office speaking and uh, um, at, at his church and what have you and um, I, I see good things and uh, they call him wise man Harry and he's uh, he's very wise actually he, he he's came to counteract this attack um, so why wise man Harry's reaction on BBC's documentary about TB Jos Joshua and uh, so yeah so we've got the, this story here about TB Joshua and then I put the headline into Twitter, into Twitter search, and uh, this is one of the posts that came up. It says, renowned Nigerian televangelist TB Joshua took part in serial rape and abuse. Um, the BBC Africa Eye has discovered forced abortions and other atrocities are alleged by dozens of ex-followers of the charismatic preacher. And uh, someone's put here, when are you exposed? When are you exposing or doing your investigations on this? What have you done concerning Boko Haram atrocities, hypocrites? And uh, as we know, there's many people, many Christians being killed in Nigeria and the world looks on. And um, there's some um, uh, there's some interesting comments down there. People aren't very happy. So that's good to see that people are, are waking up. And like I say, I, d I don't know the truth. I don't know anything about this man, but I do know someone who was trained under him and has a church in Greece where I've been to quite a few times so it's good that he's counteracted that and just out of interest it's quite a long video but it's just put up just 16 hours ago at the time of me creating this video and it's had 148,977 views so uh, it's had a lot of views which is good and not lots of comments comments 4,584 comments so um, I think he's put out a good counter-attack but um, once again let's be thankful that we have if you're a Christian that you have the Word of God or we have the Word of God and in John 14 6 it says Jesus said to him 
I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Let's be thankful that we have Jesus is the truth and, and the way and the life. And it's coming back soon. And um, we, whatever's going on around us, we, we, we can um, carry on with faith in God, with our faith in God, knowing that he is for us, not against us. And if we believe in him, he will be coming back for us soon. And we have the gift of eternal life. And then in John 8, uh, 31 to 32 it says the truth shall make you free then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him if you abide in my word you are my disciples indeed and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free it's amazing what the truth does claims like the like, like we're hearing here um, when, when when someone's not telling the truth it's just not right but but biblical truth just sets you free totally which is amazing uh, finally, it's a passage that I like a lot because I know how I was changed when I became a Christian and it's talking about the new birth and Nicodemus and uh, in, in John 3, 3 through to verse 8 it reads, Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he was old can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born Jesus answered most assuredly I say to you unless one is born of water and the spirit he cannot enter the kingdom of God that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that is born of the spirit is spirit do not marvel that I said to you you must be born again the wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it but but it cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes so is everyone who is born of the spirit and what amazes me when I said yes to Jesus 26 plus years ago, um, my thinking totally changed because the Spirit of God had moved in. And uh, as we see here, you cannot see the kingdom of God unless we're born again. And uh, that's so true. I couldn't see the kingdom of God. I ridiculed it. Um, just couldn't see the truth. But when I said yes to Jesus and I started to believe, even though I couldn't fully understand the Bible, and we never stopped learning I'm still learning now but when I said yes to him it opened my eyes and I could see the kingdom of God so much so that I've seen so much um, and I mean this in, in, in a good way and um, I've seen people healed and uh, situations ch change through the power of God and uh, I'm thankful that anyone can have that and uh, maybe you're listening to this here and you're not a believer and I have a prayer for you um, Jesus came to set the captives free, he came to die on a cross and give us eternal life and uh, he came to get rid of the, the law that no one could keep and um, I'm thankful for that and um, if you'd like to say this prayer after me and if you genuinely believe it, um, it means you will be born again as just as we're reading in the last passage. So the prayer reads, Dear Lord Jesus, I acknowledge you as Lord and Saviour of my life. I repent of all my sins and I ask you today to take over complete control of every aspect of my life. Amen. Once again, if you said that prayer, um, please, please leave a comment and um, I'd be pleased to help you if you have any questions and to, and to help you grow in your walk with Jesus. But let's be thankful that we're not seeing the truth on the mainstream media, but we have the truth in God's word, the Bible. So thanks very much for watching and please feel free to leave a comment.